Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to um, the Amiya Satan Part 5, The Matrix Mind Control Segmented Society. So, a big shout out to you. And a big shout out to everyone that's watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for always suggesting things for us to always react to. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. It means to control the thinking process, behavior, emotions and decisions of a person through psychological, physical or paranormal means. It also means to reduce one's ability to think critically and independently, in order to allow the introduction of new unwanted thoughts and ideas into his mind, and to change his attitudes, values and beliefs. And so today, these hybrid bloodlines are known as the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones, and they're the ones that control the transnational corporations, governments, the banking system, the whole shebang that um, dictates and uh, controls the direction of society. More of that later. And the idea, of course, because compared with the global population, there's very few of these people, the idea is to enslave the rest of humanity in that vibrational prison I've been talking about so the few can control the vast majority. We were being prepared for something. Our minds were being prepared for something. This does not happen by chance. And we the innocent people trying to look at the world and trying to understand what is going on, we see Everything is moving toward one world state. Market segmentation is a terminology in economics which refers to the process of dividing a society into groups or segments, based on different characteristics. The segments created are composed of customers who will respond similarly to the marketing strategies and who share traits such as similar interests, needs and locations. Now exactly same is the case with our society today. The elite masses are segmenting the society and providing specific programs for each and every segment of the society. And this segmentation process is done according to their differences, according to their gender, their ages, their standard of living, their nations, their countries, their needs, their interests, and according to their level of understanding. So they have segmented the society and are controlling the people. And the weapon they are using is in your own houses, even in your own pockets. There's a reason for this. There's a reason education sucks. And it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The big, re the wealthy... That the real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. They're, they're, they're irrelevant. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. 
You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media, media news, all the big media companies. So they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. You can't handle the truth. Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. We see people talking about the Freemason Order, the Illuminati, the international bankers, the Zionists, alien consciousness. Even some groups are coming up, satanic type groups, new age type religions. All of these coming up, and what we find in most cases is that all of these groups are worshiping a force. If you go to the highest level of these groups, you see they are doing a type of worship. It is not to God. It is not the God of Moses or Jesus or Muhammad, peace be upon them. It is another force. And they are worshiping this force. They are seeking and taking strength out of this force. Allah tells us, Ashaytan ya'idukum al wa ya'murukum bil fahsha that he will threaten you with poverty and he commands you with immorality, with corruption. He commands you with this. And so we see certain themes. Put these themes in your mind when you think about the international system. What are the foundations of the system that we are all living under? The fear of poverty, evil, corruption. Look at the categories that are in front of us. Evil. Go to the movie and see. The hero of half the, of the movies is a criminal. The thieves and the bandits are now the heroes that people, young people especially, are idolizing. Look at the music. Look at the expression coming out of the anarchy and the music in the younger generation. Then look at now the world. Immorality. And then you see it in the movies, you see it in the programs. And some of our own Muslims are watching, especially sisters are watching during the day, they watch Days of Our Lives and soap operas and you know, who's sleeping with whose neighbor and stuff like that. And, and then they even tape the program. They tape the program so they can see it when they come home.
know what I'm talking about? The Matrix. Do you want to know what it is? The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room, you can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. actually very very interesting um is that like a part two of this if there is please feel free to suggest it and i'll be more than glad to react to it um i mean there's a lot of information in this video i mean it's really up to you and what you want to get from this to see what they're talking about or to interpret this the way you want to interpret it um free thinking i don't think anyone ever wants us to free think even when we're in school when you're trying to answer something you're going to answer a question according to what's in the textbook that's being provided for that course um sometimes we um we're having conversations with our friends and if we don't answer a question according to how they want us to answer it they may get offended by that and we may end up fighting so it's really, really a crazy world. There's answers that are already existing and the way we should do things, which doesn't make sense. To the people that are actually controlling the world, why are we not learning about them if they're so powerful? Why are they keeping themselves, themselves a secret? They're not so much of a secret because people know that this exists, that exists, and they're ruling the world. But we never get to learn about them in school. We never learn... We never get to learn about them even when we're interacting about with our friends because maybe people are not aware of that otherwise i love the last clip of the matrix talking about how we're born to a certain type of bondage we are really slaves that um a few hours ago whatsapp was down instagram was down twitter was down and people are freaking out because we're so addicted to these things our lives are controlled by these things and people were freaking out businesses people that use businesses were also freaking out because they were losing out on money but then how do we um end this connection that we have or this relationship that we have to all these things that actually the, the devices that are being used to control us how do we get rid of them otherwise because it's a it's really a trick question. You really, really have to be grounded and have a lot of self-control to say, you know what? I don't think um, I'll let this control my life or I'll let anyone control my life. Because it's really, really hard nowadays. When we think about research, we're rushing to our laptops or rushing to our phones to get that research done. When something bad happens, we're there with our phones all for the sake of getting likes instead of doing something productive with our um time during the day and everything anyway let me know what you guys think and this was a very very wonderful video if there's more suggestions please drop the link in the comment section below and i'll be more than glad to react to them make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video